everyone and welcome to day four of Holovlog. My name is Jasmine. My, my pronouns are she and they and today I am back with some more countdown calendar opening and my Walmart Verve countdown is here. I picked it up today. It's here and I'm ready to open it and catch up to day four. Um, I also worked a little bit on my advent project for this month so I will talk about that a little bit but first we are going to open up the first advent of the day which is my Evertotes advent calendar this is a cross stitching countdown calendar for the month of December until uh, Christmas so I have my day four package here every day I get a little piece of a pattern designed by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery and the floss that I am meant to stitch it with, hand dyed by Roxy Floss. And that is empty. So, oh, there's, there's other stuff. Oh goodness. <laughs> so today there are two little butterscotch candies. Delicious. I love butterscotch probably make some tea for the night and um, eat those while I watch Gravity Falls. <laughs> it's not very Christmassy, but I was in the mood. It's been a while. I'm due for a rewatch. So this is the image for December 4th. And then on the back is what the pattern is meant to look like. And the floss for today is probably going to be a favorite of mine. It is this really soft like primitive pink it's like a vintage pink really warm and pastel I love these kinds of like vintage um pinks and reds I think they are gorgeous I'm gonna put this on my ring that I received <laughs> It's only a, you know what I could do? I think I have an idea. It might be easier because I have so many of um, those like stoppers that you put at the end of your needles. I might be able to get away with putting them at the ends of this so that um, I could just leave it open between openings or I could just not screw it all the way. That might actually be a better idea. <laughs> But yeah, here are all the flosses for the month so far, and they are in, now they're in order. So day one through four. Oh, the color, I meant, I forgot about that. The color is cherry blossom. So beautiful, beautiful vintage pink. All right. Now we can get started opening the yarn countdown. So up first, everything is in alphabetical order. So up first is Asylum Fibers. This is the, um, what is it? What's it called? The Neon Splash countdown. That is the theme for this year. The one that I picked. She had two themes. One was like a classic Christmas and one was Neon Splash. So I got the neons. This is on her soft sock, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And look at this. Oh, it's like pink and purple. Ooh, and this is confirmed to be a fade. So it like kind of matches. Oops, it kind of matches like this section of my hoodie. <laughs> so it's a little bit of that um, really pale purple with a darker purple and bright pink. So I'm curious for tomorrow. So it's a very heavily variegated colorway, but it looks really, really good. <laughs> so I'm curious for what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, next is Beehive Yarns. This is my patisserie countdown day four. I double checked everything. Everything is day four. I am not going to be opening and accidentally spoiling myself ahead. No chance of that. So 
So, oh, where is my little bag? Here. So today's color is called... Today's colorway is called Charlotte. Ooh, lots of pink today, it seems. So really gorgeous, pale pink with some darker pink and purple speckles. I think this is gonna knit up beautifully beautifully. I'll string you up. See what you look like next to your friends. There. All right. So this is day one through four of Beehive Yarns. I think they are going to look really good together. I wonder if it's like two shades of the same color for like two days, right? I'm trying to find a pattern where there likely isn't a pattern, <laughs> but um, it's day four and I'm trying to find like what, how these advents are flowing together. All right, next is Blush Yarns. This is her classic Christmas advent calendar and my blush on side is right over there these ones are unnamed and i believe it's an 80 20 superwash merino nylon base so more gray it's more variegated gray so like a dark and a light gray twisted throughout the skein So I am probably right. I am pretty sure this is a fade. I don't know any dyer that would want to put like four slightly different grays next to each other in an advent. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we're going to start moving into some more colors. So this is what it looks like so far. Very gray scale. And I'm excited to see what is to come. And next is Bona Yarns. This is my um, bar vintage Barbie countdown. And it goes, I think, in Yes, it's from in here. And when I was editing um, the last couple of vlogs, I actually went ahead and looked up um, the Barbies that these are named after. And, like, he is just spot on. So this is Mellow Yellow Barbie for day four. Ooh, so a bright yellow with some orange speckles. Orange and pink, it looks like. Eh, more orange than pink. They look really pink on camera. But they are definitely orange. So I'll have the mellow yellow Barbie up on the screen, hopefully, if I can find a decent picture. The thing about vintage Barbies is there's only really one or possibly two like high quality photographs of the Barbie that's like where she's clean. Her hair is done as if she's fresh out of the box. Um, the background is clean. The picture quality is good. And she has her full outfit on. A lot of times when I see these pictures of listings her vintage Barbies on eBay, it's like the doll when in anywhere from like good to dubious condition. <laughs> and then the outfit separately, um, or at least the main part of the outfit minus the shoes is usually what I tend to see. But this is what all of the Barbies look like next to each other beautiful i love that these are vintage barbies because um looking them up is a new it's like another little surprise every day and um i don't recognize any of the barbies though the last days one through three were all from the 60s um i think i'm most familiar with barbies from like the 80s to 
through like the 2010s. I'm not super familiar with more modern Barbies. <laughs> um, I feel like they don't really do themed Barbies like they used to, which kind of stinks, but oh well. I'm, I'm not a collector and I'm not a child, so I don't know too much <laughs> about what's going on right now, but we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm most familiar with Barbies from like the 80s through the 2010s. Um, my aunt on my dad's side, my dad's sister, she had a collection of like fr still in the box um, holiday Barbies from like the 80s onward, <laughs> basically. And I'm pretty sure she still has it um, in her apartment somewhere. All right, next is Castle View Day four and I was right so just the day three of hollow vlog is on a Sunday because Christmas is on a Saturday is on a Monday so my plan for the weekly castle view countdown would be to open each um each week on Sunday and then my Christmas day count my Christmas day um package will be open on Christmas day on Monday so I'm filming these ahead of time so I'm a little discombobulated, but I think I got it. <laughs> All right. So day four of Castle View. Oh, you know what? Let me look at the menu first. <laughs> See what I'm actually opening. Pretty sure it's another orange-ish flavor. Orange sherbet. Sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet? I don't know. But it's one of my favorites. You can kind of see through the bag. I ripped it open and ooh, that's so pretty so it's like a soft like kind of orange creamsicle color as the base with some um, darker orange and yellow speckles throughout so this is the um, ice cream shop themed countdown from Castle View and yesterday when I opened the full skein for my weekly countdown um that one was called hundreds and thousands and i looked it up afterwards and hundreds of thousands are what people in europe call rainbow sprinkles <laughs> they're just rainbow sprinkles which makes a whole lot of sense with how the color uh looked um but yeah i guess europeans call rainbow sprinkles hundreds and thousands at least like the english speaking countries do um, I wonder if like the non-English speaking countries translate it to hundreds and thousands or if they have their own unique names for rainbow sprinkles. I'm not sure, but I guess only in the, only in the Americas do we call them sprinkles. <laughs> okay. So this is what days one through four are looking like. So day one is over here and then day four is down here. So we're getting a nice little menu. I love these softer uh colors for this year last year it was a mermaid themed countdown and that one was very bright and very bold especially since i also i got it on a sparkle sock base so it was like very in your face um next would be dystopic fiber but that has still not been shipped so i don't know when it's coming i honestly I, all i hope at this point is for it to get here before Christmas. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I don't really know what's going on or why it's taking so long, but yeah, we are four days into Hall of Log and it's not here yet. <laughs> Hasn't been shipped yet. Uh, up next is Floof Fiber. I forgot about Floof Fiber yesterday. So I remembered it today. So this is a jewel toned rain. Looks like a jewel toned fade or a jewel toned rainbow countdown. So those are the first three days. Came in this nice self-contained box. So day four ooh, is a lot more pink. This is also an 80-20 base. Yeah, this is a lot of pink. It's that same neon pink with a little bit of that ruby red in there. Very pretty. You can see that it says four on there. Perfect. Uh, 
Now you can see the whole thing. The one thing I don't love about these boxes is that like days one through so one through six are going this way and then we cycle back around to this side for day seven and when it's a fade it can be a little difficult to follow the fade when like the color for all the way over here um will flow into the color all the way over here so they're on opposite sides and it's kind of hard to follow the fade um once you get past that first week what i would like and i i don't know if um people can like get these custom made to change the numbers around or what but what i would prefer is like having day one up here and then day six down here and then day seven down here to day 12 and then 13 through 18 and then um 19 through 24 that's how it should be if you're gonna do if it's gonna be like a fade like this um because i think asylum fibers suffers the same like it, it like suffers the same way as the flu fiber does as, as far as the box design goes. I do love that it's really self-contained though. It's quite nice. And next is my Hue Loco. So this is Hue Loco's Oxide Countdown. And I'm keeping everything in the boxes because it's like all contained within so I have the first three boxes that I've already done opened up so day four is called Cinnabar Ooh. Ooh, okay so it's this beautiful beautiful tonal rust color I wonder what Cinnabar is I know in Pokemon I think Pokemon um red blue and green and fire red and leaf green uh there's cinnabar island i think i'm pretty sure it's called cinnabar island or the cinnabar islands or whatever but i do know that it is a thing in pokemon i do remember that much <laughs> my mind likes to blank on itself when i whenever i get in front of a camera so yeah this is what it's all looking like so far it is meant to be a fade and I think once um once this countdown is over I will I will take everything like out of the boxes and string them up so that you will be able to see what's going on so that you all will be so that we'll all be able to see um how the fade flows through right now I just don't have a bag for it so it's staying in here <laughs> and I want to I need to remember um because the colorway names are taped on the inside of the box so I want to be able to know remember to tell you what the name is called all right after Hue Loco we've got Lofty Loops and I think I have hers in here yes okay so Lofty Loops um, day four is called Snowy Serenity. I got the soft sock base for hers. And we'll open her up, tear her open. <laughs> and look at how pretty that is. So it looks like an undyed base with multicolored speckles, mostly purple and blue. Like a couple shades of purple and blue. And it's so pretty. And then, yeah, some gold I see in there as well. So pretty. Oh my goodness. So, days one through four of Lofty Loops is looking like this. So day one over here and then day four over here. super pretty and then after that we've got punk rock unicorn in this giant oops giant 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 box and this box is set up like a traditional advent calendar where all of the 
like windows are randomized. So let me find day four. Found it quite quickly. So day four is up here. Ooh. These ones are not named, but this is on her sole base, which is an 8515 Superwash Reno Nylon. This is so fun. This looks like um, Easter colors. The theme for this countdown is rainbows and snowflakes. So that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, this is not a fade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is not a fade as far as like the order that I open them are. I don't know if it will be a fade um, in like the actual box. What is it? The actual um, like box order, but we'll see. I guess I'll see once I open all 24 days. <laughs> Um, after Punk Rock Unicorn, I've got So Royal. So I have two from So Royal this year. I have one that is a countdown to Christmas and then one that is a countdown through Hanukkah, uh, through the eight days of Hanukkah. And that one is on its way. I think it will be getting here tomorrow. Um, but it will be here very soon. And so on December 7th, I will be able to open two So Royal countdowns. So day four of the Christmas countdown. This is um, the soft and subtle colorway. Ooh, and this is all pink. It's like this beautiful bubblegum pink. It matches my nails. Gorgeous. And this is looking like a fade for sure. So I wonder what the next colors we're going to move into are going to be. So this is day one and then day four is at this end and it looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. I'm so impressed and in love, mostly in love <laughs> with these colors like ugh, chef's kiss. Next up, we've got the Sheepy Shire. This is the Back to the 90s countdown. And I think I have the bag. Yeah, I have the bag over here. So this is Sheepy Shire. And these ones are labeled and named individually. So, ooh. This one is called I'll Be There For You. I'm, I feel like this is from a song, right? I'm not going to sing the song, but I think it might be from a song. But it's like almost all black with some spaces for gold and yellow and blue speckles. And we will string her up with her cousins so days one through four of sheepy shire this is not a fade um they are you know themed individual colorways oops next second to last finally is suburban stitcher this is an all pink countdown calendar. It's called I'm Dreaming of a Pink Christmas. So day four. Is beautiful and gorgeous as always. It's like a vintage rose color with some darker pink and gold speckles. And I will pull this out, get it strung up, all nice and pretty. And it's living in a pink bag, so it's super fitting. <laughs> and this is what they are all looking like. So 
day one through day four. This one might be my favorite. I might turn these into some kind of garment. I'm not sure what I'm going to knit with those ones in particular, but I think this one is going to be like one of my special calendars because I love it so much. Okay, last but certainly not least, I have Wilmet Verve, which is finally here. So I opened up the box and I took off like the shipping label and everything, but everything came in this box. So there are quite a few things. Um, my calendar is, she, they, they had multiple themes for their countdown calendars this year. I chose a 25 day countdown um, themed around Arabian Nights. So it's going to be a lot of jewel tones, um, very bright and colorful. So that is exciting. So on top, I have this bag with the Wilmette Verve logo and uh, the themes for this year's countdown. Countdowns. So there's the Spice Market, which is um, really rusty, warm colors. There's Under Dutch Skies. Um, there's Boho Soft, which I almost got. Um, Always the Sea, which is very cool. And then Arabian Nights, which kind of looks rainbowy. So my Wilmot Verve is going, all the open packages are going in here. Makes it that much easier for me. And then I have my full skein on top. It came with a sample of Eucalan Wool Wash in Eucalyptus. And then, ooh, everything is in these um everything's in these boxes stacked quite nicely in here. So I'll put that back. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open this. So, or yeah, I don't have a, any waste yarn prepared, but we are going to open days one, two, three, and four of this countdown since it is day four of a uh, haul of logs. So day one of Arabian Nights. And I don't think these are named individually. I'm gonna break the tape. Day one. Ooh, this looks like an 8022 ply. So this gorgeous, like cerulean blue with like greenish, dark blue, and gold, and pink, and purple. Like all kinds of different multicolored speckles. Day two of Arabian Nights. Ooh. More blue. So it's a bit of a darker blue than the last one. I think this is a fade. So days one and two, this is definitely a fade. Ooh, I'm excited. Day three. Bit of a darker blue, just darker and darker versions. I think we're going to get into like a nice deep cerulean blue pretty soon. And then day four, which is today. Oops. I guess I could just destroy these boxes because I'm not going to be using them. <gasps> Ooh, this is an indigo. Closer to, it's like a deep blue slash indigo color. So maybe we'll go into some purples. So I don't have 
any waist yarn but this is day one and then day four so days one through four of this I love how this fade is turning out it's so fun they're like the colors the each individual colorway is so colorful and dynamic and busy I think it's really difficult to get a fade with colorway with individual colors that are this busy and fun looking so I'm impressed I really like this okay and then those are all of the countdowns that I am able to open today but I'll put that back Ugh, I do want to talk about my current advent project that I'm working on I'm working on a, on a knitting project and um the pattern is called grad event it is by uh, Marie, Julia Maria Hegenbart, I believe. And I have done, I have finished two whole colors. So this is color number one, which is kind of the spine of the shawl. And then I did color number two, which is over at one end. And I striped in color number three. And I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is meant to be the right side. So you can see um, I'm joining colors on the wrong side, which is fun because this is garter stitch. So I'm joining my colors on the wrong side to make the, um, to make the stripes a little, to make the stripes blend together a bit more. And I just attached color number three, which is my second wedge. And it's gorgeous. Um, I'm knitting this using my 2022 Lofty Loops ad advent calendar. I'm using the entire thing minus the fluff from last year. I'm using all 24 mini skeins plus the full skein for this shawl. And I'm very excited. I'm going to start weaving in some of these ends in the back um, by the spine of this <laughs> of this shawl just to um, just so I don't have like 25 plus ends to weave in later on. But I think it's looking good. I do like that this color contrasts against most of the other colors well enough that um, this works really, really well. So soon enough, I will get to like the fat part of the spine and then I'll move past it into the other narrow end <laughs> to the very, very end of this project. But that's going to take a while. So now that I've done some of the bigger parts, um, the, the rest, the like middle part of this, the rest of it should go fairly quickly. I think uh, like knitting the border um, on this end and like doing the, you know, knitting that chevron border um, all the way around the whole shawl for the large version is the thing that's going to take me a while but I'm not too concerned. I don't think I'm going to be keeping up with this like through, through Hall of Log. Um, I at least want to get through day 12 by Christmas, <laughs> by day 25. So we'll see what happens with this. But uh, I'm going to find a stitch, a holiday themed stitch marker somewhere in my stash. It might be one of the ones that I opened for um, any of these countdown calendars I don't really remember and I will um, put that on to work to act as a daily marker and then when I show it on the podcast I will talk about it um, and I'll have like a separate marker that is a weekly marker for the podcast so hopefully they won't get too mixed up <laughs> um, and it's a lot of you know the rows are getting a lot longer so I can kind of keep them separate so I think that's everything that I have to talk about. I think most of these holo vlogs are going to be between like 20 and 40 minutes, depending on what I have to say about each, um, about each colorway. But yeah, so just pre be prepared. <laughs> Whenever my dystopic fiber countdown arrives, I will talk a bit about that and catch up. Um, but tomorrow onwards, I'll have about 16 or 17, about 16 countdowns to open up every day. It's a lot. <laughs> so um, until tomorrow, 
Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me and watching me open up all my tiny presents, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!